What's up guys? This is uh, Roja from Our Nation and this is my wife Moni. Today we're at the shop again. Just got here uh, last night, loaded up the S15 and now we're heading to Pro Shop Diversion in Hyogoken to do the settings on this one and push some numbers up. So let's not waste time and get on the roads. Pro Shop Diversion just got here. This is how the front of the shop is. They do all kind of cars. I've got a MK3 Supra, a drag ready 1000 horsepower S15, got an S13 up there. Pretty cool cars here as well. And I'm not sure if you can hear, but that's my car in the back getting tuned. So, this is where they do their settings and stuff. You can see the 15s on the dyno, getting all prepped. There's the man himself, the owner of Pro Shop Diversion. The car's all tied down, ready to do some pulls. One bar of boost, it's made about 370 to the wheels, it's not bad. we know what numbers it makes on high octane it's time to put this fuel in sunoco 260 gt plus gonna mix that 50 percent with high octane put that in retune and see what numbers we make okay. 
から。Now we've got 50 50 of、uh, both the fuels in. What do you think? You think it's gonna go up 10% in power? You think we're gonna make 500? 300. 300? 300. On a good day. On a good day? <laughs> well, I hope we make about 500 because that's a sweet spot for this one day. I don't w a n t to make too much power, but I w a n t to have just enough torque and power to hold that third gear in place. That's all. So, fingers crossed. Let's see. Got done with settings and loaded the car up, and these are the final numbers making 480 horsepower, lots of torque with 1.7 bar boost. Pretty happy with the numbers. And now we head to the shop, prepare the car for Suzuka Twin Circuit, and go do a quick shakedown. All right, so just got back to the shop. Unloaded the car already. Just checking what we need to do before doing the shakedown. And now that it's a bit quiet, I can finally show you guys、uh, what this car has been through. So, first off, we fixed、uh, what was needed for the regulations after round one. We redid the front crash bar, we did the rear crash bar as well. Originally, it was like flat straight, so they said it has to be a little bit curved. We just had it chopped and just Close the hole, so good to go. So we move where the intercooler used to be,、it、used to be up here somewhere. Move it back in,、um, change the position for the power string cooler, redid all the intercooler piping.、Uh, also, this car had a little bit of issue bleeding the air from the radiator, so we changed all that extra stuff that was back here, all the stock stuff, took it all out, and then got another reservoir over here. Redid all the piping that goes to the turbo, redid the oil return line and stuff that was back there. And then the turbo exhaust manifold had a lot of、uh, cracks in it, so we just rewelded it for the time being right there. It's good to go now. Oh, and、uh, not to forget, we redid the brake lines on the car. All new copper lines throughout the car. And also the power steering reservoir. With some AN fittings, pretty cool details. And going back inside the car, we added a 
small feature as well that I was really wanting to done for wanting to get done for a long time was this brake distributor. And we're gonna make a small bracket to it so it doesn't move around. And then all new switches. We've got the push start right there. I'm gonna be removing the key tomorrow. And also round two onwards, we're gonna have the Elite Sport version 5S knuckles, lower arms, and VMAX tension rods. Pushing a little bit more angle to be able to run my 10J 265s on the front so it doesn't rub anywhere. Pretty excited to test these out. Hopefully they're good. And uh, also we moved the rack forward, so new front member as well. I don't know if you can see that green shiny member on the bottom. And some other stuff that needs to be added tomorrow is going to be switch for the anti-lag, switch for the oil cooler fan that we're going to add over here. And yes, uh, get new wiring for the defi gauges because the old ones for some reason have been torn out. So we're going to swap those over. And just a just small detail that needs to be taken care of in this car now. And the plan so far is uh, to get back into the game, uh, get back on top of the scoreboard again and hopefully do better than how we did in round one. Obviously, as you guys know, I didn't qualify, placed 18th all over, but it is what it is, you know. Sometimes we win, sometimes we learn. But I'm excited. Hopefully, all this work goes uh, according to how we've planned it. Fingers crossed. But yeah, I'm super excited for the shakedown test uh, day after tomorrow. I think this thing will be good after uh, the new settings as well, new power band and new fuel that we're running from Snooko. Pretty excited. So that's it for me today, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and uh, please like, share and subscribe the channel. And uh, if you wanna see more content, please let me know what you wanna see on the channel and uh, I'll make sure to cover it on the car. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.